Welcome, guys, to another World War Marvel. As you know, I'm your channel host, Adam, and today I have with me again... Jamie. Jamie, welcome back, and I got Keith. Keith, hey, how are you, dude? Good, man. I haven't been here in, like, three years. I, it's been some time. It was, like, War Machine back with exactly. Gruden, right? It was so, a whole different game ago. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, yeah, we're back for episode 100 of World War Marvel 2, which is fantastic. Yeah, good times. Um, so, it's inevitable that... With episode 100, I had to do something special. Inevitable. I don't inevitable. like it. I don't like that. You don't like that? Oh, no. That sounds bad. Yeah. You know, very inevitable. Because so far, we've been showcasing a lot of the basic game here on the channel. That's right. But the Tommy Mask games, as you guys know, also have their ultimate encounters. Uh-oh. So today, we are throwing some dice, and we are doing the Thanos ultimate encounter. Ooh. The Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, it was inevitable. Come good. on now. Come no. on. It's not uh, good. So with that said... Jamie and Keith, you guys yes. are going to be the uh, crisis, team crisis team for today's match, where I'm going to be playing Thanos. And they have elected, not me, I said we could play narrative, <laughs> they have elected to not go over normal difficulty, but not play easy, so we're playing Sorry. normal. No easy mode. <laughs> no, no easy mode. We wanna, no narrative, right? We want to take our beatings yeah. like real nerds. <laughs> like real yeah. nerds. Like real yeah. nerds. We're going to take our beatings. Well, I think it could happen. It could happen. <laughs> I think um, so. So, we, you guys have already made your rosters at yep. 18 yep. threats, uh, which is the standard threat range for this match, as well as selected your tactics cards. Yep. You both yep. get three apiece. Normal difficulty allows for three tactics That's cards. That's right. That's right. Yep. Um, you guys have no other special bonuses besides that. So, the difference... Handsomeness. Um, yeah, okay. It's like, you know, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Viewers at home, I'm sorry, all the handsomeness must be blinding <laughs> just, the screen. It's just irradiating out of you guys. I, I feel flushed right now, and I don't know what I'm going to do with myself later. <laughs> I know, but we're not allowed to say on camera. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, back on topic. Woo, I'm, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the only changes for how the basically the gameplay is playing uh, round uh, is basically three activations for the cosmic threat uh, thing. So what yep. happens is you guys are guaranteed priority each turn. Yes. You guys get to act activate three models apiece. I then get to activate a co the cosmic threat being Thanos and then eventually if he has a minion, a minion with him, it's one minion uh, per activation, can't be the same one multiple times. Yep. You guys then get to activate again. Yep. Three models. That's okay. Uh, that are different. Okay. Yep. You can't activate the models that have already had an activation. And it's not each, just a correction. It's a, it's we get com three com models yes. combined, combined and you get That's one. That's right. That's right. Yep. And then it goes back to Thanos' second activation and so forth and so, uh, and so on. Yep. Uh, each turn, Thanos can activate one of the Infinity Gems, but it has to be different than the ones that he's already activated. No consecutive That's gems. That's right. Yep. Um, These gems are scary. Yeah, the like, gems are very, very scary. Oh, oh uh, so the whole point for he's you got guys... got some terrifying stones. Is, <laughs> <laughs> the whole point is for you guys to collect antimatter uh, cores from the supply caches on the board, yep. and then bring them over to the amplification modules. Yep. There's three yep. of them. Power those up with the cores, and then shoot Thanos uh, with the nullifier beam. Mm -hmm. That's right. So uh, basically, you interact with the supply caches. Right. And with that brief break in the battery pack not <laughs> charging properly, <laughs> after you grab those antimatter cores, uh, you then have to take those obviously to the, uh, the um, amplification modules and such. And yes. then if you hit me with the uh, interact with the nullifier yep. beam and you hit Thanos, he gets suppression tokens, and that's when you can damage him. Correct. If he doesn't have a suppression token and you attack him, he'll then be pushed instead of receiving damage. Oh, no damage. really? Yep. Yeah. Also damage. Yeah, so you have to get that, those suppression tokens on him by using the null, uh, the nullifier okay. uh, beam. Uh, and yeah, it's, you interact with it and you uh, basically it, uh, it will give you your... Um, yeah, it just happens. Yeah, it okay. just happens. just gives him yep. a suppression token. What what happens is you can you can take an antimatter core off of each of the um, amplification modules. Yep. If he gets three, if you take off three, one from each, then uh, he gets uh, four suppression, mm -hmm. uh, and then every one like so. What happens is per antimatter core he gets one suppression. Yep. Right. So if you take only have two uh, modules that have the the antimatter cores, he gets two suppression. Now right? doesn't that reduce his dice, or is it for every so every three, three reduces suppressions he reduces okay. his defense by one. Yeah. But if we're able to pull one off of each when we fire the nullifier, that's right. four, we right? gain an additional one, so he can take yeah. four suppression. That's right. Yeah, that's does right. he shed suppression every turn? Uh, I think with his physical physique, he does get okay. to uh, okay. uh, attempt to get yeah, rid that's of right. he rolls uh, special conditions as well as the suppression. Yeah. So, yep. um, so we got an uphill battle. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
We tried to set up the board in a narrative sort of Titan scene is what we tried to set up with. That looks cool. Uh, and we tried to set it up where there was some sort of uh, defendable sort of locations yeah. for the crisis teams as well. Yep. Um, if there's anything else that we're missing, we will go over it throughout the match because there is a book, obviously, that comes with Thanos if you haven't picked it up, which most people have already. Uh, and so, like, as it comes up, we'll sort of go over what's happening and yep. everything from there, and we'll just explain what we're doing. Um, For people that are confused, this is the one um, crisis mission that wasn't made available online to download right. on their site. It was one that was only included with it's the Thanos, Thanos packs. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Which it, is beautiful, by the way. It is. Oh, it's yes. a great set. We recommend people buy it. But if you seem lost or you're not sure where to find the information, it is only available there That's right. uh, in that box. You can't go to Atomic Mass yep. Games and download it so yeah we'll do our best to explain how it's working so, sorry by the way <laughs> no, <it's terrifying. laughs> uh, so uh, Thanos can interact with a functioning uh, amplification module yep. uh, and then basically what happens he pays power like normal right for interacting with it but then he makes a attack roll uh, using a zero cost power attack correct or, uh, not power attack zero strike. cost strike, strike. Yep. Uh, so his basic strike or his com cosmic blast without being boosted yep. uh, and for each crit wild and hit in the attack roll, mm. then it, the uh, amplification module uh, takes one point of damage as well. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, he also has a special rule as well called all that for a drop of blood. So at the start of the cosmic player's turn, if Thanos the Chosen has a daze token, you remove all the damage tokens from him, all special conditions, yep. and the uh, and special conditions and the daze. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, from Thanos, roll five dice for each crit wild and, and hit again. The character remove one suppression. After that, you flip them over to the injured side. Right. Okay. Yep. And so that happens at the beginning of his turn. Right. Correct. When, yeah. And then uh, he also has ability to my side as well. So what that does is when Thanos the Chosen flips his stat card over to the injured side, place one of the following characters within range one of him Corvus Glaive, Proxima Midnight, Ebony Maw, or Black Dwarf. What? The Chosen character then gains three power. While Thanos the Chosen uh, is injured, place an additional character this way during each phase until all characters have been placed. That's how they get on the board. I was that is how they get on the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they start popping once we get him flipped. That's right. Yeah. So as soon as he's flipped, he gets placed one, then each turn oh, after that, he yeah. gets to. Yeah. Gonna be interesting. Ooh. So you guys, uh, you yeah. guys accomplish your mission if you KO or knock out Thanos. Okay. Yes. And then Thanos wins if all three amplification modules are trashed, so they have four okay. or more damage on them. Correct. Okay. Because mm -hmm. that's when they're countered as trashed. Yep. yep. And then uh, also if you guys have four or fewer crisis team members combined. So I think you guys have ten. Yes. So yes. if I knock out six, six. of them, yep. then he also wins okay. that way as well. Yeah. So okay. This is pretty inevitable. It's pretty nice. <laughs> so with that said, thank you, kids. Really good segue. We are going to show you guys the crisis teams for today's ultimate encounter, Infinity Gauntlet. So show you the board and get right into the match from there. with Thanos and his Black Order. So, uh, Thanos, he has his basic strike, which is a six die attack uh, with a wild throw. He then has his Cosmic Blast, which is a range three, power five, uh, or strength five attack, and then I can add three dice to it by spending up to three power with a wild Titan's Will, will which is a push short. Um, and then the character also uh, gains a uh, slow condition. So on his healthy side, he also has a charge, this charge superpower. Uh, for two power, which allows them to move and then attack. M Might of Titan, which is I can choose a size three terrain feature uh, that's within range two and throw it long. Then Insolent Cur is that if a character uh, attacks uh, or targets uh, Thanos with an attack, after it's resolved, I can use the superpower to push the character away short. Uh, then he has limited patience, which basically if a character, enemy character tries to interact with a uh, objective within range two of them, uh, after the that's resolved, the character immediately performs a strike target that character. Uh, 
Uh, he then has incredible, incredible physical conditioning, which uh, allows me to re-roll all failure dice as well. Uh, I can uh, re-roll any number of its attacks dice once per attack. Additionally, when this character would suffer damage, I would lower it by one. During the power phase, I also gain four power on Thanos. And during the cleanup phase, I roll five dice for each crit, wild, or hit. The character removes one special condition and one suppression token. When I flip him over to the injured side, if... I flip him over to the injured yeah. side. Yeah. Uh, I will go over any changes on the injured side of his card as well. Uh, because we are playing in the normal setting, uh, he does have Cosmic Entities as a special card. So place this in the Cosmic uh, Threat player's play area. A Cosmic Threat character without suppression cannot uh, be damaged if a Cosmic Threat character without a suppression token would be damaged. It is instead pushed short. Uh, this push is resolved by the Crisis teams. Uh, effects cannot add activated tokens to Thanos. Okay, so your Doctor Strange can't do that, unfortunately. Uh, I do have all of the Infinity Gems as well, and they are completely different, and then uh, the regular um, gems that you have in a regular game. So we have the Soul Gem, so return one KO'd Crisis Team character within range one of this character, so Thanos, as a minion. The return character uh, is healthy and has three power. Remove the character from the battlefield at the end of the turn. Uh, this superpower may be used only once per turn, and a character may be returned to play... Uh, may be returned to play because of the superpower only once per encounter as well. Uh, we have the Mind Gem, so during the Crisis Team, the Cosmic Player basically gets to choose who activates and in what order. Uh, then you got the Time Gem, so all enemy characters' speeds become short, and then uh, and allied characters become long, and then the Power Gem gives Thanos 10 power for that turn, and then until the uh, start of its next activation, he can have a maximum of 15 power instead of the normal 10, and then at the start of its next activation, of this, uh, if this character has more than 10 power, it loses power until he's at 10. I can only use that once per turn as well. Uh, and then I have Ultimate Space Gem. Place Thanos anywhere on the battlefield. Anywhere. Rude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then reality gem, rolling dice as part of an attack, defense, dodge, or interact roll. This character can treat all failures as crits. So, that is that, and Thanos will be starting in his throne right here. And what I quickly painted up this week as soon as I got him was the criminal syndicate, because Keith has or requested that he was using them, or said he was going, wanting to use them, so I uh, tried getting them painted up. But, uh, so here, here we have uh, Kingpin here, Bullseye, Taskmaster, Shuri, who is not part of the list of Criminal affiliation. Syndicate and affiliation, but still she's in here, and then MODOK. Uh, so that is a Keith's 18 threat. Uh, what tactics cards did you bring? I think you brought Med Pack, Aim Lackeys, and Extreme Conditioning, which is a new card uh, with... Taskmaster. So when a character begins to move action during his activation, spends two power. If the active character advances, he may use the long movement instead of his other movement. So like Kingpin also can just jump across the board if you yep, wanted to. Or Modok. So it's uh, really good. Yeah. Jamie, what do you got, dude? What do you got? As promised from our last video, I finally got my defenders assembled. Yeah. So I have brought Doctor Strange, yeah. his faithful manservant Wong, the Ghost Rider, uh, Valkyrie and the leader of all affiliations, Hawk Guy himself. <laughs> with them, I am bringing field dressing, yep. deal with the devil, and face me because I think that's going to do some interesting movement shenanigans for and this game. So, what does face me do? Because I actually haven't used it uh, yet in any of our battle reports, I don't think. It's a great one. Uh, it's an unaffiliated card. Uh, yep. Active player during an allied character's activation, you can spend three power to play the card. Mm -hmm. You choose an enemy character within range four of this character, so whoever's paid the cost. Yep. Advance the enemy character its speed towards this character. After the advance, the chosen character's controller may make one attack with the chosen character. So it basically pulls them off objectives and It stuff. can pull them off objectives and stuff. And the downside is, is you're going to possibly take some damage. Yeah. But the important thing is, is a little bit of movement control. That's and with right. you having limited Huge. models yeah. uh, in this scenario, I thought that could be interesting. Very, uh, very Ghost cool. Ghost Rider could maybe go out there and take a punch, or Valkyrie can take a punch from Thanos. That's right. To pull him away from something he's trying to do. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, man. Looking good. Defenders and Crusaders. Criminal Syndicate. I guess Doctor Strange sort of manipulated Kingpin into helping protect the world <laughs> Absolutely. from the cosmic threat that is Thanos. So we'll come back and show you the board next. So we have tried to set up a board that is uh, a Runes of Titan, basically, yep. is what we tried to do. Um, 
so we have a whole bunch of like ruined buildings and such here as well as like a whole bunch of rocks and stuff. Uh, so you have the nullifier one here, or sorry, the uh, the module, the amplification, amplification module, module one, one yep. and then two, and the third one right in front of the throne back there. You have a supply cache here, supply cache back there, and then one over in this terrain feature, and then the uh, nullifier beam right there in the center of the board. Uh, terrain wise, we're just playing this as size one, just yep. ruins, move over, nothing. Yeah, yeah, nothing on that one. Size five for this one. Yep. This one here, as well as that one in the corner there, size three. Yep. These ones were size four. Yep. Uh, these small rocks here, here, there, and the two back at the back there, uh, their size two is what we agreed upon. Yep. And then I think we said three for this big one as well. Correct. And then did we say for this one? Probably a size four for the Size inch. four, all right. Yeah, so, we'll and that. then... That's just going to be like size one piping. Sure. And yep. the centerpiece size two because it is yep. three separate parts. So, uh, but yeah, so that is the board. We will come back with deployment next. Also, as a note, uh, each crisis team, so both Keith and Jamie, gets to place one of their characters uh, within range five and four up and two in from the board side. So that way it's sort of like they're ambushing Thanos and uh, will be attacking him. So um, so they, whatever side they want to go on, that's up to them. So, But they get to set it up on the side. Here we are with deployment. So Thanos obviously has to start in his throne like so, stepping down from it and confronting the insolent curves over here. So we have on the far side over here, Bullseye, Shuri, Taskmaster, and a good old Kingpin in the center because, you know, they're fighting for the New York. Yeah. Not the world. Mayor, Mayor All Fisk. for the betterment exactly. of themselves. Exactly. Uh, MODOK obviously is, uh, has started on this side because they thought it was best to sort of bring them up that f within range five and four and two of this board edge to give them the ability to start shooting hopefully into Thanos right off the bat. This side of the board, we have Hawkeye who is good anywhere. He's the best. <laughs> Doctor Strange, who I think the play is to get him up towards the center where he can sort yep. of help everybody and do what Wrong. he does best. Yep. Uh, Valkyrie and then Wong. Wong, obviously. In all honesty, I don't, I'd keep Wong back a little bit and, and play. Uh, He's and waving then, at Thanos. Yeah, Hello. yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> and then over here we have Ghost Rider, um, which by looking at it, and I know through talking with them, that's right. they can hit this round one and get a amplification uh, or sorry, any core on this amplification module here uh, within the first turn. So that is what the board looks like. The uh, crisis team has priority for each round. So let's get dangerous. <laughs> Round one, activation one. Who's it going to be, guys? Ghost Rider is going to activate first. No way. We are going to get some activation stuff happening. Okay. So I'm going to move a Ghost Rider, his medium movement. Yep. And he's going to go right to there. And this is size three. That is size so three, so he can just go over it. He's we'll just move you back so you're flush. Sure. Just because, yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to Still spend good. one to interact, yep. which is going to give us an antimatter core. Yep. Which is on his card. He is then going to take a second move, move and get onto this nether. Which I believe yeah. you're on that side. Oh, yeah, like yeah, you're good. You're like good. that? Yep. Ish? Yep. Uh, you could probably do it a little bit more, actually. There okay. Go. So he's going to jump to the other side of that. Yeah. Boop. And wait, you're right there on the other one. That's right. And the second interaction with this objective is Cost absolutely nothing. nothing. And that's and so number three, so yes. I'm putting one onto number three with yeah. Ghost Rider. So and there, there we go. That is our first activation. And that is it. And for the other two activations, it's Wong over here who has moved, picked up a cache, or sorry, uh, antimatter, an, antimatter core, and moved over there and dropped it off to the amplification module one. And Shuri did the exact same thing for amplification module two. Uh, so all three of the modules have a antimatter core on it at this point in time. Uh, so you can see that on the tracker there. And that is the Crisis Team activation. Now for the pain. Yeah, well, <laughs> maybe Ghost Rider. Who's, who knows? My activation, uh, first activation uh, for Thanos this turn, um, I'm going to start off by using the Reality Infinity Gem. Uh, so, innate superpower, when rolling dice as part of attack, defense, dodge, or interact roll, this character treats all failures as criticals. And we all know how well I roll, so <laughs> hopefully I roll lots of failures. Um, so that's good until my next activation, when I activate the next uh, stone. I am within range 2, and I completely forgot to do Insolent Kerr uh, up against Ghost Rider. Uh, so instead, I'm just going to strike him. 
Six dice strike going into Ghost Rider. Here we go. Well, that's three crits and a wild. Right. Here we go. Uh, that's five, uh, sorry, six in total. Six in total. And I do have a throw if I need it. All right. Do you want to just bring that over here? Yep. Like, you bring your dice tray over if you want. I don't mind. Just that way I can actually see it. All right. So this is physical, yes? A physical, sir. Physical. All right. So three dice. Mm -hmm. And I am blocking, blocking two. two. So you're currently. taking four. Taking four, gaining four power. That's right. And with that throw, I'm just going to throw you into that train that piece damage? back there. So it's one more damage. Yep. Completely forgot about that as well. Um, Don't you get power when you crits? Or is it when you crits and then uh, I think I'm going to interact uh, with the amplification module number three. And uh, what happens I when I do, I get to make a strike, a zero cost attack up against it. Each wild uh, crit or hit. Uh, does one damage to the amplification module. So here we go. Stop breaking our stuff. That's it. Uh, so that is two, but that is counted as a crit. So let's see if I get another one. So that's three on that amplification module. It's still good still for good. next turn, which is Whew. good. And with Thanos, that is his first activation of this round. All right, Keith, you are going to do the first activation for this grouping of three. Uh, starting off with Taskmaster? Yep. Yeah. So he's going to move here. Yeah. Just then, like so? Yep, and then yeah. he's going to double move to about here. All right, sounds good. And what uh, is the point for that? Do you want to be just back to be within one? Just within one, yeah? Yeah, and I want to be yeah, yeah, yeah. cover as well. Well, I dare that you're going to get cover and be within one, but, yeah. like but you're definitely yeah, within one that's there. good. Okay. Uh, and then I spent a power to do this one. To, to interact, interact. Yep. yeah. So I'll spend the power to interact. Okay. So and we'll take one off of each of the amplification modules. Yeah. So we will remove one two, and three. Which puts four, which four suppression, suppression tokens onto Thanos. On the big T. And with Thanos having those four suppression tokens, you can now technically damage him as well, which is handy. And if you can get up the board. One less dice. One. And he also has one less defense die right now, too. Yes. So, pretty good. Amy, you're activating Doctor Strange next. That's correct. The Master okay. of the Mystic Arts is going to advance up into some cover here. Okay. Staying close, uh, his intent is to be within two of Wong okay. and of, of um, Taskmaster. Yeah, which I think is very doable. I think if I'm I don't move his full sure. there, I've still got some distance. Okay. Just like so. Just and you're like definitely so. within two. Correct. Yeah. And he doesn't really have anything else he's going to do right now. He's going to sit on some power. So Doctor Strange is just going to take some cover and okay. be right there. Sounds great. And for the third activation, Keith just ran Bullseye up here from back there, like so. So, Makes for Thanos, uh, I'm going to be doing the Time Gem, Ultimate Time Gem. Uh, so that way all enemy characters now become short movement, and the speed of allied characters become long. So Thanos will be moving along next. So first action for Thanos is going to be a move, because he is an allied character, he's going to move along. And then uh, I think he's going to actually have some fun next. Up next, I'm going to be doing a strike, uh, six die strike, uh, into uh, good old Ghost Rider here. So let's see what happens. Bam! Uh, so, so that's a crit, uh, two hits and a wild, uh, and a blank. So what do you get for your defenses, sir? All right. So you got a total of four right now coming through. Four coming through? Yeah. Uh, you got a crit a there. Crit, so I'm blocking currently one. I'm blocking, blocking one. one. So that, that said, that is uh, a day's Ghost Rider. But I think I have the throw before characters damage is dealt. But I really can't get you anywhere anyway. So, yeah. So that is a day's Ghost Rider. Before the end of Thanos' activation, uh, I am going to grab the size three boulder here, uproot it, and throw it at good old Taskmaster. Yeah. And here is his dodge roll. Nope. So one? Yep, so take three. Uh, so you take three. Okay. But you get three power from that. Yay! And with that, that is the end of Thanos' second activation. So the first activation for the Crisis team is MODOK, and uh, he has moved up like so, and then I'm assuming you're going to be doing the Psionic Blast? Yes. Which is, uh, is it a Mystic, right? Yes. Correct, so it's your highest defense. Alright, so I got a five though, because I have four suppression tokens on him. This is so, my six. Yeah. That's a good roll. That's Damn, a four. That's roll. Here we go. And you can re-roll. So, yep, I have one. I block two. Crit. And with a crit, two. 
Okay. And so, Keith, you're re-rolling one of those with your power? With B-Brain, Modox Genius is Let's infinite! Let's see if you get another damage on there. No, nope. nothing. Alright, so I'm going to be taking uh, a total of two damage on good old Thanos. Modox gains. Correction, I'm only taking one damage from that. Hawkeye's up next for the Crisis team. A short-moving Hawkeye. Mm -hmm. You can stand on top of that, right? Why not? It's Agreed. Objective. Why not? There you go. Hawkeye moves short, and then we had already said would be you well within. You are definitely within range. So he is going to take a shot at a scary titan. Okay. I have four defense versus both physical and energy, so it really doesn't make a difference. It to... does! This is going to be an energy arrow. Okay. Sounds great. Just for me, it does. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, right. that's good. That's, that's good. two crits. All right, so that's two crits. That's four hits so far. And we do have, that's so two. we're just going to apply that condition. It's, yeah. It's going to be shock, these guys said. Yep. Ooh, that's five damage. Let's see what I get here. Uh, I block one. Block one. So uh, I take three damage in total. So, yeah, you take three, and you are going to gain the shock condition. Sounds great. Kingpin is next, and he is moving up the board, slow and steady, slow and steady. <laughs> One movement like so. Yeah. And he's going to spend a power to interact with the uh, cache there to pick up a antimatter core. We did forget to mention that Hawkeye also uh, picked up an antimatter core as well uh, on his turn. Uh, sorry about that. The second move for Kingpin is he's just moving within range of the uh, token. Way Not back quite. there. Not and he's then going to interact with the antimatter core, uh, sorry, uh, the uh, amplifier. Application module number yep. two. And he's going to put a antimatter core on there like so. Activating the space gem uh, for Thanos' third activation. And uh, let's see where I get to put him. And Thanos appears back here behind Doctor Strange like so. Gonna be going after Hawkeye next with the Cosmic Blast, and I will be boosting it with 3 power to make it a 7 die because of my shock ability. So, here we go, 7 dice into Hawkeye. Come on, Adam, dice! That's... <laughs> You're a bit right! <laughs> I do get rerolls, though, with them, so... <laughs> uh, the crit, so that's uh, 4 so far. I know I have terrible dice, but I do get to reroll all of my attack dice. I'll Let's see what you get there. Hawkeye, save yourself! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that cosmic blast worked, and uh, that is a downed Hawkeye. And the animatic core is there uh, within two of Hawkeye. Up next, I'm doing another cosmic blast um, into Valkyrie back there. She definitely is within range, and I'm bumping it up by three power. Uh, so he is down to four power on him now. So let's see what happens. That's, uh, well, that was about the same as last roll. All right, so that's four again. Okay. You're blocking, uh, blocking one. one. Yep. And then I will re-roll these, and I can even re-roll the failure mm -hmm. as well. So let's see what happens from that. Uh, that is uh, four more. Okay, so that's a dazed Valkyrie. That is a dazed Valkyrie as well. And with that said, that is Thanos' activation and third one for round one, which means round one comes to a close. Uh, we'll come back with cleanup phase next. So the cleanup phase with Thanos, I get to roll five dice for each hit, wild, or crit. Uh, I get to remove one special condition or suppression. So here we go. Let's see what I get. Uh, so that is four. So I'm going to get rid of shock, and I'll get rid of three suppression as well. Valkyrie's going to be the first activation. Correct, Jamie? That's correct. She is going to spend two for Warrior of Legend, okay. and then she is going to spend three okay. for a Dragon Fang attack at seven dice. Sounds great. This is going to be fun. So fun. On Thanos, not one. Uh, no, oh, come on. What's wrong with that? All right. So we've got a crit and two right now. Yeah. So... That's so another. there's four. Now you have three wilds and a crit. Those all change your other ones into hits as well, do they not? So with so that is actually eight hits due to Warrior of Legend at that point in time. And I am going to spend a wild for a flurry. Oh, of course. Let's see if I block any. I block one. Crit right now. I block two so and then three because of my toughness. So, so I take, take five. five. That is not enough to daze me, sir. But I have a flurry. That's right. Here is a flurry strike now into... Uh, a flurry strike into Thanos. Thanos, yeah. 
And oh, we have good. another crit, one blank in there. So two blanks, so that's four right now. Okay. I am blocking all four of them. Three. You are blocking three, and then you reduce With them. With the reducing yeah. them yep. down. So, yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. So then Valkyrie will just do the same thing again for Warrior five. Legend and Dragon Fang? Yep. Sounds Warrior good. Legend and Valkyrie, let's see if you can do it again. Ooh. Scary. Well, that's, so that's two. That's not as good. And no flurry either. Dang. Because no. you don't have any crits or wilds. So, uh, I block them. You do re -roll block guys. them. What's that? With that said, that is it from Valkyrie. Uh, I guess we'll come back with the second activation for the Crisis team next. Second activation is going to be Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is going to use the Bolts of Bedevilment Ooh. on Thanos. Sounds good. Uh, it is an energy attack, correct? It is an energy attack at five dice. I have five defense. And if I roll any... One. Blocks. Yeah, you get a power from I that. I gain a power from that, okay. so I'm going to gain one power right away. I don't block any. But you will I will that reduce one. it, yeah. You will prevent that one. Do you one. have any rerolls? I uh, reroll on skulls. And I can reroll all of its attack or defense dice once per turn, so okay. I'm just going to do that. Absolutely. Because of the Eye of Agamotto. Mm -hmm. Which is nice, because I still gain the power, but I'm going to reroll everything anyways. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't you? There all you right. go, that's three. There we go. So, so I'm going to take two three. damage. I'm going to take two damage from that, because I don't block any. So. Yep. And, and so because you damage. Go that way or just straight back? Yeah, getting the push from the bolt of the be bedevilment. We are going to bedevil you now. I was going to say bejewelment. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to bejazzle Thanos. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, before you move. He's still within four. You yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, so I just looked at that, and I definitely. was like, no, no, he's definitely within four. All right. So we're going to do that again. Okay. Let's see what you get. Oh, now you don't get to reroll this one. Uh, it is... Once per turn. Or activation, isn't it? Um, once per attack. Oh. It's the same as Thanos. Really? Yeah, I have Agamotto as the same. I've only used Doctor Strange once, but yep. that's fantastic. No. Dang. All right. So, five dice. So, you so get it. I get a power. Yeah, let me see what I roll for defense. I'm blocking two. All right, so I'm going to use the Eye of Agamotto to okay. re-roll. Yep. And that will be better. Three. So um, we are looking at... Jamie? Yes. Hang on. I've got a crit. What was I saying? Let me know when you can modify your dice. Yep. I'm going to roll in a crit first. Yep. And that's four. That is enough to actually... That's yeah. fine. Actually, four right now. Yeah, that is four. I'm only blocking two. Okay. So and that is... By one, and I reduce by one, which that means one. that is a dazed Thanos. Correct. And Dr. Hawkeye is up next for the third activation of this round. Or of this activation grouping, I should say. He's going to spend one to interact. Okay. To gain a core. Yep. He's going to walk back. Mm-hmm. He'll spend one more. To interact again. To interact, pick up okay. another one. Sounds good. Then he is going to walk again. For a second action. For a second action to there. Okay. And then he is going to spend two to hook arrow. Yep. Just to get into range. Let's just put him over here. Yep. Within one, yep, and then as an activation, uh, as a it's free. free free interact, yeah, you can only interact with ones, right? Yep. Because yep. you can only, only yeah. interact with each yep. objective. But he's once, got so. another core. Yeah, he's holding yeah. On to. So now you have amplification module one and two both have a um, antimatter core. Antimatter core, correct. So, and that is Hawkeye's go. Hawkeye is activated. So it goes over to me for round two and Thanos' first activation. So this is where all that for a drop of blood kicks in. At the start of the Cosmic Player's turn, if Thanos, chosen of death, has a dazed token, remove all damage tokens, special conditions, and dazed tokens from Thanos, and roll five dice. For each crit, wild, or hit, remove one suppression token. He only has one suppression token on him currently, so let's see if I can get another one. And I do, so I take off that last suppression token from him. And he's also flipped over to the injury side. Uh, it's not on the card, but it has been FAQ'd. And with his card being flipped over to the injured side, he now has 20 stamina instead of 12, and he also has the Cosmic Obliteration ability or attack, so it's a beam 5, 8 strength attack, which costs 12 power to use. But... It also deals one damage to me.
True. To my side, when Thanos, chosen of death, flips his stat card over to the injured side, place one of the following characters within range one of him. Corvus Glaive, Proxima Midnight, Ebony Ma, or Black Dwarf. The chosen character gains three power. While Thanos, chosen of death, is injured, place an additional character this way during each cleanup phase until I have all four characters have been placed. So here we go. I'm going to have some fun now. And Black Dwarf has been placed, or summoned, should I say, there, right in front of his... Uh, Father? Thanos? Technically. Right? And the gem of choice today is the ultimate power gem. So the character gains 10 power. Until the start of the next activation, this character may have up to 15 instead of the normal 10. At the start of the next activation, this character has more than 10 power. If it, lose, uh, it loses power until he is at 10. So, and I can only use this once per turn. Well, I guess there's no time like the present uh, to do a good old uh, cosmic obliteration here. Uh, so I get to activate one minion model. You do. Or character, as well as my crisis character, uh, or crisis threat. Ultimate so it's going to be ultimate threat. Yeah, it's going to be Thanos. And he has all three perfectly lined up here for his cosmic obliteration. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? I will suffer one damage for that, and I will also take off 12 power. I'm going to start off... Throwing dice around. Um, Tyrant. Yeah. <laughs> trying to take him out early here. I'm going to start off with Hawkeye because he is my least favorite <laughs> out of your group right now. Just Doctor Strange will use Oster's Refuge. What? I had oh, no, no idea. Sorry. No, no. Um, uh, Hogas Hori Wisdom. Yeah. Hogas Hori Wisdom. So here's my eight dice into good old Hawkeye. Oh my gosh. Sorry. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's four. I do have a crit though. Here's my crit roll. That's a blank. Let's see what you get. All right. Oh, blocking, blocking three. three. And I'm gonna be re-rolling these five dice because I can re-roll any number of attacks uh, dice once per attack. So let's see what that gets. That only nets me one more. So it's six coming in at you, sir. So blocking three, three means I take three. Three. Yep. Gain three power. Somehow Hawkeye survives. That's right. <laughs> All right. I guess going up against Wong next. So Doctor Strange will do the same thing. Spend yeah. Two. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, so that's two, three, and a couple of crits in there, which one converts. So that's four so far into Wong. Okay. <clears throat> blocking one. Wong is blocking one. Get one additional defense die also from the uh, servant wants. of Doctor Strange. Yeah, so you're blocking two. So block I might be wrong, but I, I'm pretty confident because this is a whole new attack sequence. I do get to reroll these again, I think. So here's a reroll. That is uh, four more. Uh, so that's eight, and you block two, so that's six. I block two, so he can only take four. All right, so you and get four dazed. power. Thanos into Valkyrie. Doing your whole glass for you, wisdom. Of course, course you are. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Uh, so that's two crits and two hits. So four so far, and then uh, two crit rolls, which are two more. So that's six so far. And this is Mystic. This is Mystic still, sir. Five. Yeah. Let's see if Hogas Hori Wisdom prevails. Somebody has to live. Yeah, Hawkeye did. You block one. Block one. All right. So how much are you doing? That's uh, five in total. So she would still live currently. Okay, reroll time. <laughs> Get her. <laughs> she is out of here. Bye-bye, Valkyrie. We're going to go back for a second. Hawkeye, because I am outside of range three, is actually, but still within range five, it's going to actually fast do draw. Fast draw. Um, Jamie was just thinking about it after the fact, so he said, go ahead, do it. I don't mind. So that's going to be three? So, yeah, net result is going to be about nothing, right? Yeah, so. and I think if you do damage to me, it's just going to be a push. Yeah. Here's my defense roll, and I'm going to block him. Yep, most likely. two crits. Yep. So Because you've got to be able to damage me, right? Two so, crits, yep. So you're not even going to get the push anyways. Nope. And he's going to move up here like so. Right like that. And then he, I think it's going to be three power to throw somebody. So I guess it's only t interactive train feature, not a character like I was hoping for. Uh, but he's going to pick up this rock and throw it at Doctor Strange. Here's a dodge roll. All right, dodge roll. Three physical on yep. Doctor Strange. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Block of one? Uh, blocking one. All right, so that was size two terrain, so you will be taking two damage. Two, two damage, two yep. power. And that is the end of uh, Thanos' activation. So I'll put one activation token on the bottom here, but then I also get to activate good old Black Dwarf.
And I'm going to be spending two of Black Dwarf's three power that he starts off with uh, to get do um, Enforced Oblivion, which is a uh, character makes a move action, then the next attack it makes, this activation adds two dice to it. So he moves straight up there like so. Thank you, Jamie, for moving him for me. Wow. And then I think I'm going to be striking into Taskmaster. It's an 8 die basic strike due to the enforced oblivion, so here we go. Uh, so that's a lot. That um, is 5 so far with 1 crit. Uh, that's 6 going into Taskmaster. So Doctor Strange is boosting my defense with Horgoth's yep. Hoary Wisdom. Using 2 power to do so. 2, so photographic. So yep. your, um, mar your rogue agent. No, is that blank, uh, martial, artist. martial artist? Yeah. Yeah, that's where you get to so add the blanks to it. I, yeah. Yep. yep. You get to count blanks. Yep. Yep. Sounds good. Dice counting blanks. And that is because of uh, martial artists. Yeah. So that's five. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at that. Five blocks. Uh, and how much were you doing? Eight. Uh, six. I was so, doing you six. so you take one. I take one. I, and I gain one as well. Now I have some rebuttals yeah. to this. With that said, there is nothing else that Black Dwarf can do. He gains one power from that. I was hoping to take out Taskmaster, but it did not happen. Ghost Rider's up next for Jamie and Keith in the Crisis team. Spending one power to pick up an antimatter core. Because he is just within range one down Within there. one, yep. as we pre-measured. Yep. Uh, he is then going to take a move action yep. to move medium. You've got that? I got that for you, sir. Perfect. Just like so. He's going to move yep. to there. And then interact for free to put... He will interact for free to put yep. one on modulator number three. three. Yep. I'm then going to spend three and use the face me card. Okay. Declare Thanos as the target. Yep. You have to move... Uh, choosing an enemy character, is so there, I choose Thanos. Is there a range? Oh, it's within four. You know what? That might not work yet. You might have to do your second move, like you said. And then do it. And yep. then do it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's fine. Are you still filming? Yeah, I'm still filming. All I right. can stop if you so want. So that's fine. No, it's okay, because he's okay. going to spend three then yep. for Hell on Wheels. To do the long move. Because that doesn't change anything. Yeah. So the question is, now where do you want to place Thanos with that? Well, the question... And the uh, long move from Hell on Wheels, is that what it's Hell called? Hell on Wheels? Oh. We'll put Ghost Rider just just back a bit. Yeah, just so there. he's within one. So basically, he just wants to go like yep. this. So he's going to need to be a, just a snage over. But like that. Then he is going to spend one to interact with the to interact with the laser cannon of doom and taking off all three all three to put on three suppression tokens on four, four suppression, suppression tokens, tokens onto Thanos. Thanos. All me. right, paying three now for face me, and I get to be moved. You have to go towards, towards which is basically putting me right here. Okay. Yeah. Towards. Like and you so. get to make an attack on Ghost Rider. I do, and now I'm going to be doing a six die strike attack. And I hope I don't roll well. Well, that's five, sir. That's five. That's it's five. It is physical, sir. All right. So I'm blocking none. Blocking none. Okay. So I'm taking five. Yep. I'm gaining five power. Uh, how much damage can you take on Ghost Rider? Right six. Now? Oh, because he's injured already. Correct. I dazed him? That's right. I forgot I dazed him. That's correct. Man. Okay, so after moving Thanos and surviving that strike from him, uh, you're going to spend two power and do Ghost what? Ghost Rider's going to spend two okay. uh, for the Flames of Hell. Okay. It is a beam three attack. Okay. So going to center it like so, so it gets both of your villains. Yep. Okay. Well, one do you want to do first, sir? Um, I am going to... So let me just have a look here. What is his lowest defense? Uh, his lowest is uh, energy or mystical. They're both three. Physical is four, so... so do energy? You want a hex then. Well, they're both they're both energy already, right? So... Remember, he can roll two things on crits. I know, but that's what... So you're also going to spend a power t uh, to do... Uh, Mystic what is Empowerment, it? the Defender's Affinity... That's right. ...team benefit. Woo! So that way, whoever gets damaged not only gets incinerate, but also the hex superpower or, uh, as well. condition as well. Correct. All right. So who do you want to start with? Thanos. We're okay. Start with. Let's Thanos. see what you roll, sir. All right. So five dice on Thanos. Yep. Come on, Ghosty. That's, uh, that's not great. That's two. two. Do you have any rerolls anywhere? I possibly. Uh, I block them, sir. That's. Well, you're blocking three. Do you want to roll your crits in? I can. No, oh, I don't know why I'm taking a die away here. Hold on. Okay. Uh, that's five. You're blocking all five, so yeah. no sense. <laughs> There's no, no sense like, spending that. No. Oh, the one that we and on to Black Dwarf. I only have three energy defense here, so... Uh, so get... that is a crit, a wild in there. Awesome. I'm going to roll in that crit. So three? Three. 
I block one, and I block one. So he's gonna take one damage and uh, takes the incinerate and hex. Bulldog is the second act, second activation uh, for the crisis team. Uh, so I'm gonna start with a psionic blast. Okay, into Thanos. Yeah, correct. Okay, so he has five defense against that. Okay, I sap a power. Yes, you do. That's always good. Uh, let's see what I roll. Uh, I'm. I don't know where my dice are coming from because I never roll like this. Okay. Yeah. Crit rolls. I don't know where my dice are finding these crits from, but that's uh. All successes. That's uh six successes so far, sir. So sap power. Six yeah. Successes. There's no point in re-rolling this. There's literally not. No, I wouldn't. Either. Okay. Well, that's. All good. right. Doing a second psionic blast into a good old. Oh, that's better. That's better. That's it. Throw that crit in there. I saw yeah. the power again. Ooh, very good. Five dice. I block uh, two. two. So. so now reroll that one. Yeah, re I would reroll that one. I want to reroll. Use yeah. Thanos' power to reroll against him. The blank, right? Nothing. All right, so I block two, so that's four. Yep. So it goes down to three. Up next, you're doing what? Imbecile! Bow to the will of Moda! <laughs> and what are you doing with him? I'm going to advance uh, Thedos. Okay. How far? Oh, never mind. Uh, I don't. I was gonna try and move him. I'm gonna actually. I have to advance. This. Instead of doing bow to the will of Modok, you're gonna do aim lackeys, correct? Should, shouldn't I throw this first so I don't hit anybody? No, you're not gonna hit anybody okay. because right, the, yeah, the movement. Aim, yeah. yeah. So I'll do so, aim lackeys on task. Yes. Yeah. No, it doesn't have it doesn't, pass master's activation. Which will be next anyways. Okay. But all right. Yeah. yeah. But he will get an extra movement. And then Modok so. will use imbecile. The world is a weapon to Modok. Which this is within range three. Yes. And he will throw that at Thanos, yeah. so he has to make a. And so it's within medium, which is it medium or long? Medium, medium. Yeah. And so it's like so. Yep. And so Thanos needs to make a <laughs> dodge. Four. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't block any. So he takes, uh, he takes four damage. Three damage. Three damage. Oh. Mo Modok's been activated, so we'll put an activation token on him. And I guess uh, Taskmaster is up next. Yep. Okay. And he gets to because he's he's Modok's lackey. He yep. gets to move. He's just gonna. It's a over. short move, right? Is it? is it a short move or is it a free move? I no, can't it's remember. It's a free move. Oh, a free, free move. move. Yeah. Even better. Yeah. Yeah. He's literally just gonna scoop over here. Yeah. Like so. Okay. Okay. And then Taskmaster is going to spend. Two power to use his uh, mnemonic technique, which is his suspender okay. power. Yeah, yeah. It is base four dice. Okay. But it gets uh, additional dice equal to your physical defense. Okay. And you cannot modify the rolls. Yep. Against this attack. I so don't have any rerolls for defense anyway. So you're going to be at uh, four extra dice. Correction. Yeah, it's five dice, not four, yeah. because of my defense. Because so I remo pass remove. Yeah. Pass mm -hmm. magic with here a nine dice attack. And Blah. That's good. Good. Jeez, nice. That's a good roll there. Uh, okay, so that is seven. Let's see what I get for my four physical defense. Uh, block in one. Uh, block in one, so two, so I take five. Mm. Oh, Thanos has five more. Ten power no. uh, or sorry, has ten power now and has seven damage left on him after taking that five damage. And I'm going to do another mnemonic technique. Okay. So another nine dice. Yep. I see what you mean by keys rolls. Yeah, <laughs> it's rolling damn good. Right? Damn good. Can't complain. My rolls have, you got two crits in there? Oh, two. Yeah, yes. yeah. So that's uh, one more. So that's seven again. Here we go. Four dice to block some. Uh, I do get two crits. Uh, that's three. So I'll be blocking four and only taking three damage. I'm going to spend one to okay. reroll. From Shuri. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that's another wild. So I'll be taking four damage then instead. So I'm gonna play uh, during my activation uh, for Thanos. I'm gonna play the Ultimate Soul Gem, which returns one KO'd Crisis Team character to play within range one of the character as a minion. That character then gains three power. Uh, I can only use this superpower once per turn, and a character can be returned to play uh, because of the superpower only once per encounter. Activate Valkyrie next, I guess, and uh, what I'm gonna do is gonna do a uh, Dragon Fang into Bullseye. Here we go, seven dice Dragon Fang into a good old Bullseye. Uh, so I do get my wild, so that's three so far. With a crit. I block none of them. Uh, you take four damage, sir. Okay, Bullseye, I believe, is at one. Parting shot now. Uh, bullseye will now advance. Short, and yep. then you take one damage. Absolutely. 
And he's doing his parting shot advance back there like so and still within range of uh, good old Athanos. So, um, I guess uh, my flurry attack's gonna go into Modoc then. Five dice going into Modoc, let's see what happens. That's two, sir. Two, physical. Let's see what you get. You block him once, you take one. And I'll gain um, another power. You can't reroll failures. No, but your wilds don't count. Yeah, I don't have any don't wilds. Yeah, I have cool. two hits. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Valkyrie being at three power uh, is going to, seeing as how you've moved away, charge into Bullseye. Yeah, three power. So I'm charging in. Yeah. And then... Just one for yeah. yeah. And the charge move in here like so. Uh, striking into a Bullseye. Uh, so that's a lot. That's four. One. Plus two crits. Plus two crits. He's so uh, that's two more. So that's uh, six. Okay. So I take. You can only take one. Yeah. Yep. Sounds good. Spending two power from Thanos now without him activating him to a charge and to be like peace out, suckers. And he's gonna come over here like so. I'm gonna be doing a cosmic blast up against Fist, uh, spending three power, leaving uh, Thanos on five currently. Here's the attack roll into Fisk. Uh, that's good. Adam doesn't get to complain about dice. No, huh? no, nope. no, this my dice rolling has been uh, super good. Uh, so that's uh, seven so far. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's energy. Yep. So, so you got one. That's a, well, it's crit. Well, mm -hmm. One. One. Okay. So how much is it? That's seven. Seven. So I'll reduce it by one. Okay. Six. Take six. Okay. So no, so take, no it'll take five because you have blocked one, right? Oh, okay. So I'll take five. Okay. I still get to reroll though. Oh. Right. So, uh, which is another one, which will cancel it, like, your reduction. Yep. So I so to six, six so he's still up. I'm still on uh, one. What's his, what's his damage? He's got one left. Ooh, man! Thanos is going to do another so cosmic blast, uh, spending three more power, leaving him on two. Uh, so it's eight dice. Here we go. Uh, so that's not bad. That's five. And then I could get some rerolls if I need, and I can do a push after this too, if you somehow survive. Block him one. Yep. So. All right. So he stays. All right. If I roll a skull. Good old Shuri's left, uh, who is not dazed. So let's see what so happens. Four. You can't do. This. Oh, I can't even get it. You oh. only ever gain one. No. Oh. Oh. I was thinking cabal. Oh, He's just gonna move over, interact. Well, I don't have any power. Oh yeah. You, yeah, you did. I didn't. I spent it on a reroll. Oh, so you can't even interact. So she's gonna pew pew. She's just gonna she's pew pew me. She's gonna pew once. Yeah, and yeah. then yeah. And then walk. Away yeah, yeah, yeah. And that makes yeah. sense. So now she's gonna pew. Yeah. You're still pushing. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be blocking that, but uh, I mean, energy. You yes. Take one damage. Yeah. That's just I take no damage, so whatever. No, no, it, it can deal one damage. Yeah, but I take one damage and reduce <laughs> it to nothing. Right, that's right. So yeah. I take no damage, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. but you still gain a power. Yay! So, no which allows you then to move, do your move and yeah. interact. So do you want to push? And the push. Well, not towards Wong. <laughs> <laughs> like so? Yep. <laughs> now she's interacting after pushing Thanos to get one uh, antimatter <laughs> core. And you have no other activations for That's the it. third grouping of them, right? Yep, so it goes so back to Thanos. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna activate good old Thanos for the third activation of this round. Uh, he's gonna come, can you just measure um, three out from Hawkeye for me, sir? Something like that, but I wanna be within two, so sort of like on an angle, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna charge, come over here, so that way I'm still within two of him and three of good old, can I, do I need to be pushed more? Nope, okay. no, you're fine. All right, so we're gonna go there. Uh, I'm gonna do a cosmic blast with five dice into good old Hawkeye. And you don't get your counter strike thing because I'm within three, so here we go. Uh, so that's three with a crit. Uh, that is four. Bye bye, all right. I will block none of it. You block one. Just purely on the fact that it, you do have cover from being on the terrain piece. Got it. So I okay. block one. Yeah. Uh, you did yeah. four. Yeah. Well, so I can only take two. Okay. So Hawkeye is going to be KO'd. Yes, sir. And I will put this far over here. You know, something like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I also forgot a gem, so I'm going to play the mind gem at this point in time, so I get the next to choose your next activations. It's over. It's over. It turns over. The next round. This goes until next round. Does it really? The round yeah. is over. So next turn, I will be choosing the three characters that activate uh, for good old lovely uh, Crisis Team because I'm playing that at the beginning of my for my Infinity Gem. On top of that, Valkyrie also goes away uh, because it's at the end of the round. That's what she disappears, and I can't bring her back with that again. Nope. Doing a strike from Thanos into Doctor Strange is his second action this turn. Let's see what happens. 
Uh, that is two, sir, two. Got this. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm going to re-roll that? Yeah, why not? Because I you mean, can with the IA Meadow. Motto. Right? There you go. Okay, you block so, two, so you take nothing. So I gain a power. From the shield, yeah. From the shield. Yep. I should still roll in my crit. Okay. So I block three. Yeah, I only did two. Yep. Actually, hold on. I get to re-roll these things. What am I talking about? Frig. I almost completely forgot. My bad, sorry. Mm -hmm. There we go. I do get to throw them, though. So it's three now, technically. So I block all three. And I'll yeah. throw you. And because I have that wild after doing the reroll, I am throwing Doctor Strange into a good old Taskmaster. Like so. What size is Strange? Two? Two. Three. So you get... Two. You're dodging a three. Yeah. Let's see what you get for dodge roll. Block in three! Loving it, Taskmaster. Loving it. Good job. Going into the cleanup phase. Uh, so I do get to shake uh, all the suppression, hopefully, off of me. Uh, so I get to take one off of me, that's it. Okay. I also call Ebony Maw down to my side, who starts with three power on him as well during the cleanup phase, so... So, during the activations this turn, I get to choose your activations. First one's gonna be Shuri. Shuri's moving. Good old Shuri. Yep. Move there. Absolutely. And she's gonna panther pew pew him in the back. Yes, sir. Here's the attack roll. Roll. I don't even think I need to roll because I'm gonna reduce the damage anyways yep. to that. So I gain one, one so. power from that. Yeah, and the push is automatic anyway. So yep. yep. And with the Sherry push, goes right there like so. I think Wong's gonna be next, and he is going to activate for the Crisis Team. Wong Wong is moving all the way over here beside Doctor Strange. He is going to move to there. Okay. Wong is going to spend one for okay. the Vishanti's Blessing. It okay. is an action. Yep. And he will heal two off of Doctor Strange. Sounds great. And Wong is done. Awesome. Fisk is going to be the next activation and third one for the Crisis Team this turn. Yep. So he's going to do Extreme Conditioning. You're going to spend the, is it two or three power? It's two. Two? Okay. Um, that, oh yeah, that'll put him within him. Oh yeah, oh. absolutely. Okay. Stop for a second. Moving up Fisk. Okay, so first he's going to play Extreme Conditioning, yep. which lets him, while he's making a move, Absolutely. he can move along. Yep. Um, so that allows him to move like here. Yeah, up like so. Like so. Yep. Okay. And then he's going to spend three power to use his Hail to the King, Kay. baby. I'm going to do Intimidating Presence, so you're targeting a Black Dwarf. Okay, so here is the Hail to the King. What does that attack do on uh, Kingpin? All right, so it is his spender. It's range two, seven okay. dice, three power. Uh, before damage is dealt, I can throw the character short. Yep. Um, and then this attack is resolved. The character gains the staggered special cool. condition. Is it throw short away or just throw short? Just throw short. Okay, sounds good. Do you want to do that before you before damage is dealt? Don't have to roll dice. Do you need a wild or anything? You oh, would no, no no. Okay, you would you would roll first yeah. like everything else, right? Okay, so yeah. All right. Yeah, before the damage resolution. So that's good. So you got four with two crits. I am blocking one. Uh, you got five. So it goes down to four, goes down to three. He takes three damage. Yep, and then I will. And then you will. He doesn't take any damage yet. So he gets thrown, which yeah. is only going to do one. I'm so he's going to have four. Uh, he's going to hit with a uh, good yeah, old. Uh, will I? Yes, he will. Mm. So. Because he's going to. Yeah. That. Did you you spend the power for intimidating? Yeah, for two. He had three, and so now so he has one. So if I throw one. him away. Mm hmm. You throw him short. You can throw him into the building. You can also just throw him over here. Yeah, you could. Yeah, and so he moves all the way over there, throw. like so. Sounds good. Kingpin's now going to do what? Well, I actually pause. And you're throwing the size 2 terrain that's over there? Yes. Uh, Kingpin is going to use street level negotiations Kay. to throw the size 3 or size 2. two. two. Size 2 against Thanos. Okay. Dodging 3. Here we go. Uh, so I block one, uh, so it takes down to two, and you then... roll one more dice in? This is a dodge Oh, that's roll. right, that's right. Yes, you're right. Uh, so, okay, so I block one, yes. I'm going to take one damage from it. Yep. I'm going to start off with a good old Black Dwarf as my first character, and he's going to come down over this way, uh, like so, and just basically be right there, actually. He's actually going to go there, uh, like so. After the Enforce Oblivion, my, uh, I get my move action, uh, but my next attack roll uh, is going to uh, get two additional dice. So this is going to be into Shuri, I think. Uh, Keith gets one with a crit. I get uh, two, sir. Two. That was a fantastic roll. Uh, so you block it, and I do nothing. 
start Thanos with a strike in the face to Wong for six dice. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Six dice, so hang uh, on. Yeah, six dice. All right, a strike into Wong. Uh, I got two so far with a crit. Come on, three. Let's see what you get, sir. Physical, Wong's blocking one. Okay, I get my rerolls. Yep. Uh, there's four, and that also gives me a throw before damage is dealt. Okay, so I'm blocking one, so I would take three. Yeah. Okay. Four from the throw. Throwing good old Wong into uh, said. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Right. Oh, I already. Yeah, yeah. I can come straight down and still hit you like that, right? So I'm coming straight down. You're throwing him into Doctor Strange. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's Doctor Strange dodge roll. Dodging. Yeah. Uh, That's I have three. Blocking three. Yeah, you blocked all of them already. Blocking four. That's good. So Doctor Strange takes nothing. Yeah, and then Wong now gets Wong another three. Takes three. Yeah. And is defeated. Okay. Up next, I'm going to be doing my big spending 12 power to blast all of you guys. Right? I'm going to start off with Doctor Strange. It's eight dice. Going into him. Uh, sorry, what is this? Uh, this is cosmic my cosmic obliteration. It's energy, mystic. Uh, it's mystic. You've already used your two to boost up. I didn't no? use them for long. Okay. No. Okay. Because that's what we said, right? Yeah. All right. Sure. And it, it's it's every attack too. So. Okay. Oh. So spending two. Mystic goes to six. Okay. Here's eight dice. Oh. All right. So I have three so far. Blocking two. Blocking two. You gain a power from the shield. Three. So, yeah, I gain a power from the shield. Yes, sir. I gain, so that's currently three. Three, yeah. So you're doing your rerolls first. Yeah, here's my rerolls. Uh, so that is six. Six. And I'm blocking three, so I would only... Take the three, gain three power from that. Yep. I will do my eight dice up against Taskmaster next. Here we go. I'm going to spend two. Yeah. Are you two extra dice? On Dr. Green. So I have five so far. Nice. Stopped one? Yeah. One? Okay, so that's four. Does that date that dazes, it dazes you? Yeah. Dazes two and dazes. Sounds good. And then I guess power. up against Ghost Rider here, we got eight dice as well there. This is Mystic? This is Mystic still, sir. Yep. Uh well that's only two. Only two? Only two so far. So far. Yeah. So far. Blocking two, blocking three. Okay, let's see what these other dice make. Let's see if I can do anything else. Uh, so I had two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why couldn't that be on somebody else? <laughs> uh, that's uh, eight. So you're only going to do two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Max. Yep. Yeah. Which gives me the two, two power. power. Yep. Yeah. Okay, which then allows me to spend four. Yeah, absolutely, it does. To deal with the devil. Yep. Yeah. Ghost and incinerate Rider. and stuff. Yeah. And with that, uh, there's really nothing else that Thanos can do because uh, I knew he was going to pop Ghost Rider, as I explained to him, hence why I on Shuri, hence why I targeted Black Dwarf into him. But without being able to daze her, it's nothing else I can really do, and I couldn't get away really from Ghost Rider with his move long and still and long chain, so I knew I'm going to be taking some damage somewhere. So... So activating Ghost Rider, who's going to do a Chains of Damnation strike into Thanos! This is an energy. Six dice. Here yes, we sir. go! That is not Two. how we wanted that to start. Two. Oh, I, I have three because I'm Incinerator right now, and I do still have Suppression on me. Uh, so I'm going to block one. I'm blocking one, so I'm going to take one. So oh, no, you got two. Sorry, I take none. Take That's none. Right. right. Now Chains of Damnation again. I know. Let's see what happens. There you go. That's right, three. So we're showing three right yeah, now. Yeah, with two crits. Two crits. Absolutely. Let's roll those crits in. Oh, there's four. So there's four. Let's four. go. I block one, take one, take two. That's enough to knock out good old Thanos. And with that said, the defenders in the criminal syndicate have bested uh, Thanos in today's match. We'll come back with the after action report next. Welcome to the After Action Report. You just saw the match between the Crisis team of Defenders and the good old criminal syndicate up against Thanos, the Chosen of Death. It certainly is. Oh boy. <laughs> what was your thoughts on the ultimate encounter, the Infinity Gauntlet? I really encounter? felt like it was kind of like the movie. Like there was a point where it felt really like impossible and we were not going to do so well and mm -hmm. it was just very oppressive and then 
through planning and trial and error, actually just getting lucky, we <laughs> kind of pulled it out. <laughs> yeah, it was it was really cinematic. Um, we maybe should have tried it on easy mode first because it did feel really hard at times. No. Um, again, I think it was one of those where it takes a lot of careful thought and yeah, playing absolutely. to the scenario. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we made a couple of mistakes. Yep. You maybe made, oh, a, made a few mistakes, mistakes or two. Yeah. Um, you know, it's really, you've got to not take your eyes off the ball in That's this. It, man. Oh, That's um, it. And it, there's multiple layers of, you know, get Thanos' health down, yep, but you also keep him suppressed. That's yep. right. You know, um, so there's a lot going on. This is a, I would say it's pretty advanced. Yeah. 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 I would, so for me, from playing Thanos' side, because I haven't played the other side, this is the first time playing this. Yeah. Um, I think for me, two things stuck out for me. One was a mistake that I made, which mm -hmm. we were talking about. Yeah. Another thing that sort of was my downfall was uh, the last thing up phase before going into that round where I only rolled the one hit yep. and then rolled yeah, blanks yeah. and blocks. Yep. Um, even if I rolled one more mm -hmm. of those hits, then yeah, I would have been better off because yes. I would have been. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that, and that's what I said. Like, like, you, yeah. Because you didn't clear them, we were that's still right. in a position that's to win. Right. Yeah, that's right. If you had have cleared them, I think it would have been completely, completely different. different. Completely yeah. different. And, and as we're discussing, uh, instead of activating Black Dwarf to yeah. try to take down yeah. uh, Shuri and that, I should have activated Ebony Maw. Uh, Ebony Maw. Yeah. Uh, that should have been my go-to because I would have had two attacks plus a throw uh, for the size four train. Did you have Black there. Tongue online when he came into play, or no? Yeah, he ha he has yeah. black black tongue, yeah. which is part of the 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 push. You know yeah. what I mean? And, yep. and that from that's uh, his from his basic attack. Oh, right. Oh, it's I, his basic attack. I thought black tongue was his spender attack, like his big one. No, I think that's doom something. I can't oh, remember. Oh, doom whispers what it is. or whatever. Maybe. Okay. I can't remember. My, or dark uh, prophecy. I I don't remember either way. But yeah, his basic attack is like a black tongue thing where I think it's black tongue where he gets to push yeah. you okay. and stuff or, or advance your short or something. But uh, I think I should have done that one over yeah. top. Yeah, I think of, it would have made a big so, difference. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, I mean, the good guys won. Yeah, yeah. Well, good guys. The defenders won. You did nothing. I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is a legitimate businessman. He's the mayor of New York. He hid back in the backfield yeah, and yeah. didn't do Yeah, I didn't much. really play fist that <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Bullseye did more and Taskmaster definitely. Oh my God. Yeah, Taskmaster's my like. I, I, I love I the like model, it. and now I yeah. love him in the game. Yeah, like, oh. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm getting a couple more games in this weekend, yeah. uh, so I'm gonna have to definitely play the Criminal Syndicate to try them out. I think. I also think I'll be adding in uh, Daredevil to the Defenders and playing that nice. list as well. So, Agreed. Uh, He's a better Spider-Man than Spider-Man. No, if you're playing Spider-Man right, you're not playing him as a beat stick. I know. Right? I know. So that's that's the thing with Spider-Man. But that's Hawkeye another topic. Yeah, that's another day's topic. I had to take top. Yeah. Now, if this round went further, Hawkeye was going to come back and help me. On your side? On my no, side. No, on my I'm... side. And I was just going to put him somewhere and just shoot twice and be like, eat it. You know what I mean? Here's some status effects, hopefully. That was the hope. That so would've, That would have been good. Yeah. Well, actually, some bleed would have been powerful. If, yeah. you, if you bled us, yeah, shock would have been good too. In oh, a yeah. serious um, vein, I do think that the one thing lacking from the the ultimate encounter side, the, mm -hmm. the, the threat side, yeah. was that you didn't have as many conditions. Yeah. You know, we yeah. were able to get some, um, you know, uh, hex out there yeah. and shock it's from Hawkeye. Incinerate. And incinerate. incinerate. All that so, stuff. So getting those out there did help us for yeah. sure, yeah. whereas it didn't seem like we really had any conditions to yeah. worry about. And I didn't take any tactics cards. Because it doesn't say anything about us taking Correct. tactics cards, you know what I mean? As yeah. a cosmic threat. Yeah. And and so I think that's how it's rightfully played. Because I agree. I think so your tactics are you get to bring characters that's in. It. That's, that's it. it. You, you get characters. So, that's right. And so I, I think we played. I think we played the rules right overall. If we didn't, I let us know in the comments. That's it. You know what I mean? Um, I think we. If we did, keep it to yourself. <laughs> yeah, don't don't get too mad at us, please. Shh. Just come play me instead. That's right. That's right. You're welcome now. That's right. Uh, yeah. Maybe, yeah. I, I think we played it right as the yeah. rules is written. I think the booklet, um, my criticism of it is the booklet doesn't give you all the information. You really need a combination of the, the rules card. booklet as well as the crisis team explanation That's card right. and the yeah. threat card. Yeah. It would have been nicer to have a more concise document. Again, like you said, there's already an FAQ, yeah. which was needed, which is a little bit... Um, that would be the thing I would criticize um, for the for the scenario. It made it a little bit tricky just, just to understand. Just because you're flipping, flipping around. Yeah, you're thing. kind of jumping through stuff trying yeah. to clarify. We had to do that a couple of times. And then, yeah, it felt like the lack of conditions really 
worked in our favor. Yeah. Although, like well, you said, once, we really felt once I got characters there, though, I could start putting some. Well, because yes. Proxima right, has so. poison and bleed, doesn't That's she? Right. And then That's does right. like Corvus have something as well? I think he does. Bleed, yeah. I think yeah. he bleeds as so, well. Yeah. And, and, so and like, as you steal our characters, you get the conditions. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And like maybe it was, I might have been a little bit too like rushing him into the center of your group that round two or activation two. After, yeah. Like maybe I should have focused yeah. on on dazing Ghost Rider and sort of staying back mm -hmm. and maybe destroying uh, one of the uh, the uh, amplification modules because I really didn't do that except for one attack. So maybe I should have got rid of that one. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Maybe that would have been a better play too at the very beginning of the game. I think so. on the second full round or turn like round yeah. so after you had had three activations yeah. with Thanos yeah. I think in that one because you had cleared off the suppression yeah. or you were down to one suppression I think that's when maybe you could have changed your tactic bring a character in yeah um, and that character can interact. And then and start still, damaging them to make right. it out. So that we can't gang up on that's you. Right. We have to go and deal with the scenario. Yep. You you did in that regard kind of let us interact yeah, with that's it right. until we didn't need to. And certainly yeah. that last turn. If you yeah. had a rolled better, different story Absolutely. altogether. I think we would have lost. Well, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, by keeping that on you, we technically still had the ability to get three more on that's you. Right. Yeah. That's right. Um, and, and I think maybe that's something that I should have played differently as well. Like I said. So What's our first go? That's it. That's our first go. I gladly, gladly I, would do it again. Like, yeah. I enjoyed it. I really, yeah. like I said, it was stressful, a, but in a good way. And it's a different take on it yeah. on the game. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it's a nice narrative, theme sort of. It felt really, like Jamie like, yeah. said, it was very cinematic. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, it, and it was interesting too. I, I was a bit worried that it would feel one-sided, one way or the other. Mm -hmm. And I think, like you guys were saying, that there was some good sort of ebb and flow That's to right. where the power Very and the attack so. and stuff. We didn't dominate you on any real nope. significant turns. That's right. You know, you maybe dominated us on one or two, but you're Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. You're supposed yeah, to. Yeah. You like, should. But yeah. it That's wasn't right. every turn. That's right. Yes. That's so right. that's important that it didn't right. feel like this is, you know, yeah. pushing a boulder uphill. Yeah. It was like, okay, we got some real thinking to do, That's strategizing, right. and yeah. then other times it was like, okay, we know exactly what we have That's to do. That's right. Well, Jamie, appreciate Thank you so much. It. Keith, appreciate it. Was it. Awesome it was an awesome. Oh, well done, sir. <laughs> it was an awesome match. Uh, awesome way to sort of air off episode 100 for uh, World Happy War 100. Marvel. So that here's, was here's to awesome. 100 more, man. That's it, man. Congratulations I'm, I'm gonna... to the channel and to Blackfire. Oh, thank you for the content that you produce. Well, thank yeah. you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't yet, check out the Patreon link in the description of the video down below. Uh, that helps us here uh, at Blackfire Productions. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and tell us how we did. Until next time, ignite your hobby. <laughs>